Yep, it has been a while since I last made an NCAA video or made a video in general, but I'm creating a new road to glory since NCAA 14 came out, and this is Joe Smith, my new player that I'm gonna go with. And Joe Smith, I wanted to make a character that was kind of like the average Joe. And Joe Smith sounds like an average Joe kind of name, you know, Joe Smith. It sounds like a very average Joe kind of, a normal anybody kind of name, you know, so. And I want to make a character that wasn't extremely fast, but was savvy enough. You know, he has guts, he has, you know, heart, and right there getting a sack. Joe getting a sack, the first sack of the game. But I want to make a character that, you know, embodied the underdog role that, you know, he's not fast, he's, he doesn't have that track speed, he's not, he doesn't have that, you know, that 4, 4, 4, 5 speed, he doesn't have that extremely high vertical jump, he's not going to dunk a basketball, he's not going to, you know, do that football dunk on the goalpost anytime soon, but Joe is, uh, he's savvy enough, you know, he understands what he needs to do or what uh, he has to do to win, he understands his limitations and he tries to work around them or use what he can to get victory, you know, to win games. That's what it's all about. You want the W. I you know Joe doesn't care about stats. He doesn't care if he gets the, you know, one tackle a game, one sack a game, zero sacks, zero tackles, zero touchdowns, five touchdowns. It doesn't matter. Joe wants to he wants to help his team win. And right there Joe gets another touchdown run. So Joe Smith, number ninety five, left defensive end. He gets the touchdown run, so Joe, Joe understands that, you know, he understands that he has a team around him. That's another thing that a lot of players don't understand nowadays, or young players, you know. They need to understand that they have a team around them. Football is a team sport, and Joe really relies on his team a lot, maybe to his detriment, you know, not a lot of prospects, or not a lot of, not, not a lot of prospects, but not a lot of schools, you know, like it that prospects, you know, don't shine or rely too much on their team, you know, kind of like in high school recruiting, you know, colleges look for that prospects or those high school players that, you know, make themselves, you know, above their team or whatever, kind of, you know what I mean? They kind of make that, they kind of make, they want those prospects that, you know, really are flashy or whatever, you know, and Joe's not one of those flashy guys, you know, he's not going to really celebrate that much, he's going to just, you know, go back to the hoe, you know, do his talking on the field, you know, make his, uh, Right there, the quarterback, Joe helps collapse the pocket, and the quarterback fumbles the ball, so that's the first turnover of the game, getting back to the little game play. But Joe, not really much of a celebrator, but, you know, he he does, he does lets his football, you know, he lets the W you know, talk for him, he lets his team talk for him. But, yeah, Joe, uh, he's 5'10", if you want to go into his measurables, 5'10", 200 pounds, plays defensive end and running back, and right there he's forcing the quarterback to, he's hurrying up the quarterback. So the quarterback makes a really bad throw right there. So Joe, you know, not the biggest guy in the world. You know, he's a 5'10". I mean, that's pretty undersized for defensive ends. And running backs, it's all right. It's a decent size for running backs. But Joe wants to play defensive end. If you ever notice highlights, they all say defensive end or left end first. It's because Joe more or less thinks of himself as a defensive end rather than a running back. The reason why he plays running back is, you know, the coach feels that he's the best option at running back for his team. And right there, look at that. Running over defenders. Look at that. It's called power running, people. That is called power running. It's power football. Look at that. Just running over bunches of players. Whew, that was some really good running right there. But, yeah, Joe wants to play defensive end. And look at that. Quarterback's gonna get sacked and fumble the ball. Fumble. Look at that. The quarterback is having a pretty, pretty rough day, right? <laughs> a pretty rough day. Look at that. He's gonna get. Ooh, that's pretty nasty. He gets bent over. <laughs> he gets run over by Joe, and he's bent over by, on his offensive line. He's gonna fall on his offensive line, and he's gonna get sacked again. Quarterback's gonna go for an, another ride. Look at that. Joe just whipping. Whipping the quarterback down. Look at that quarterback. Saw Joe coming and couldn't do anything to stop him. And he's going to go for a nice ride. Joe's going to like twirl him around. But uh, yeah. Joe, you know, he's not that uh, he's not that quick. Not that, you know, he's not that big. But you know what? He understands. Look at that. Just see. Look at that. Relying on his, relying on his team. 
he knew that the full the fullback was in front of him, and he kind of just waited for the fullback to, you know, give him a good block or you know give Joe a really good block. And right there, look at that, just relying on his teammates. You know, that's what Joe does. You know, Joe's a team player first. I want to make a guy that's humble and like an average Joe. You know, and I mean. What else can I say about Joe? You know, he's just the average dude, you know? He just wants to play football, get the W. He wants to win that state championship. He's not... Joe's not really worried about, you know, college just yet. He wants to focus. He's very narrow, narrow-minded or whatever, you know, narrow vision. He wants to win that state championship. And they do, in fact, win the state championship as Borough can't... Borough High School can't come back from that deficit. And Joe's going to get the MVP of the game. Look at that. Nice stat line. Stats will be in the description below for Joe's senior season. So and the game stats. So if you guys want to see the stats, look in the description below. But Anchorage wins 44 to 10 in a blowout victory, winning that Alaska State Championship, and Joe's pretty happy with that. Unfortunately, Joe doesn't get a single scholarship offer from a Division One school. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for next the next episode and see what happens to Joe.